Well, I hope you're doing well. This is Friday. We're actually in week 34 of our year. So we're more than halfway gone. And I hope, you know, you've been blessed. I hope that you've had a good summer. I am intending on taking a few days off here and there just to get some work done around the house that needs to get done and to spend some quality time just relaxing with Sue. But, and I hope you've had your time also. We've been talking about loneliness. It's interesting that John Locke, he was obviously the great philosopher, English philosopher in the mid 18th, 18th century, uh, spoke of the fact that the word individual was not known prior to modern times. The reason being is, is that no one was ever an individual. Now, I'm not saying that they weren't individually, you know, they had their own name, they had their own, you know, personal identity from that viewpoint, but everyone was part of a family. If we study in the Bible, it tells you that this person is the son of, Jesus was the son of Joseph, and so on and so forth. It's just, it was a community. It was always a community. And by the way, the majority of the world lives in this type of mindset. What's happened in modern times, is, especially in the West, is that we've become very fragmented and individualized and we tend to think of the world strictly from our own perspective. We don't necessarily consider the ones around us as much and we're encouraged to do that, which is in many ways very sad uh, because the end result of that is that a person lacks certain aspects that would be very much a part, uh, a complement to their life. Uh, one individual said this, uh, one can acquire everything in solitude except character. I th th thought that was very interesting. Character is something that's formed in the midst of other people. Uh, David Meyer said this, when individualism is taken to an extreme, individuals become the ironic casualty. If it's only about us, myself personally, then typically I'm going to be hurtful not only to myself but to others. How many times has our relationship with someone we loved saved us? in various ways, kept us from doing things that would have been hurtful, not only to ourselves, but to others. How often just being part of a collective whole, has that been something that secured us and gave, gave us a sense of purpose and worth? I believe that this is, as Francis Schaeffer said, the, the greatest apologetic on the earth is the church living in community, meaning that we actually see ourselves as part of each other and that we are growing together and that it's not just about one particular person or a group of individuals but it's about us as a whole <clears throat> thinking connecting having ideas working out those ideas all complementing the whole which is Christ himself when the world sees that people that come in that are for whatever reason recognize the great void in their life because they do not have these connections and we live in a culture full of this and they sense the this unique dynamic of love that doesn't come from the individual just loving to be there but God himself loving one another as Christ loved us the very standard of our love in Ephesians 5 and verse 1 and 2 that speaks to people how healing is that? All those scars that are so much a part of our life, whether it be things that we've done or things that have been done to us, how healing is it to be in the midst, immersed literally in an environment, a comforting environment of God's love, taking away all those things, bringing us through the cross into new life. I'm hoping that's the experience that we have here in Tacoma. I, I pray that this will be the experience that you have in your life. But I can tell you it will not happen merely just participating online or watching someone. Great messages, 
great men and women of God, great podcasts, not denying any of that. But God designed you to be a member in particular of a unique expression of Christ in a local area. And don't be satisfied till you find it. Because you won't be truly complete in Him or won't know it until you do. Till next time, friends, God bless you. Do, 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 do.